so that water. we're in your absolutely amazing house. There's artworks oh, everywhere. You. You've got bits that you've collected from all over the world. Yeah, yeah, I love this place. How long have you been here for? Uh, seven years. And it's funny, the last two years I've been thinking, um, I get a bit twitchy. Um, I'm a bit of a gypsy like that. You know, I had the five to seven year period and yeah. it's time for me to move on. So, um, I, uh, maybe if I don't have a job next year, I'll be, I'll be able to concentrate and focusing to sell the house because I want to move to something else. Okay. Yeah, and, but I've lo I lo it's, you know what, it's weird. And again, I'm in, into all that whole energetic thing and feeling. And I often wander around here because it's big, it's three levels, this house. Yeah, yeah. And on your own, you think, you know, just, I look into rooms, hello, hello. Yeah. And I leave classical well, music on during the day. Exactly. And... There's an energy in the place because it is, it's yeah. a renovated terrace. Yeah, but, and but you've got to bring that pot, like, exactly. extra positive energy into something. Exactly. You know, it's not always easy to do. Yeah. But I put a lot of love back in this place and a lot of good people have come through and a lot of laughter. So, you know, that's the wonderful thing, having a home. Uh, that you know you can you should invite people over and yeah. bring your good good intention into your home and mm -hmm. have a good laugh and play in it. But I think this would be lovely to have a couple of kids in here now. You know, yeah. Um, that's one thing I've always there regretted. You're telling no, yourself? I don't have any children. All the people that buy it off you. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that'd be nice. Someone with children. I do some a bit, quite a bit of charity work again through Janelle Bloom. She introduced me to that, but um, it, it's great to to um, to give back. Mm. Firstly, but children is such an innocence, you know that, yeah. and things seem so unfair and so unjust. I think we have to always protect them. And you know, once I never understood the whole thing of adoption. A lot of my friends have adopted, and I just think, no, I don't know if I could do that because it's not in my blood. The minute I saw these children and they cried, it's not a thought about if it's blood or not, it's a child that needs to be nurtured and exactly, you, you, right. you just care for that child. You don't even see the skin colour, the I mean, all these preconceived ideas mm. and it, not ignorance on my behalf but just, you know, maybe ignorance, but I, but I had a preconceived idea of, oh, I don't know if I could adopt, I could, I could, you could, I could do that. You could. Care, it's caring for a child, it doesn't matter. Yeah, it where. doesn't matter, exactly. But I do all that in the World Vision, I do that in um, Doctors Without Borders thing. So, you know, slow, I give back yeah. monetary, but I don't physically go over and do that stuff. That would be one great thing to do. Cambodia is always yeah. crying out for volunteers. Yeah. Um, I think that would be exciting yeah. to do. From that, talking about overseas, where is your ultimate holiday destination? Um, my yeah. ultimate. I I went to Boracay many years ago, where which is, is a beautiful island, out from Manila. Okay. And uh, and Palawan, where I haven't been to, but I met some people in America. I was over there recently. You've been over there recently. Yeah. A few people, yeah. And I met a lot of people in Times Square in New York, mm. and I'm in a lot of home videos and photos at the moment. I think. So great. <laughs> oh. No, no, good fun. No. What? <laughs> oh, oh, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> In Times Square, you. So anyway, um, that that was great. Met some great people. I met these Filipino people here from Australia, and their their brother, I think he said, is the mayor in Palawan. So he wow. said, "You look after." Oh, we've got great accommodation. Great accommodation. <laughs> but it's it's a very beautiful area. Um, again, New York. I just. Give me two, three weeks in New York every year, a couple of years, mm. and it's the most amazing energy and life. Yeah. You know, it's so much life there. Everybody says and that. everyone is so happy. You have every nationality bypassing each other, taking, giving each other the camera, taking photos, helping out. There's no pre prejudice, no judgment, just joy. And New York is unique like that, that it, that it has such joy mm. in it. And they've risen through the ashes, of course, with 9-11. Yeah. Um, and of course, yeah. it's just, it's a very special city, I think. I've never been anywhere in South America, mm. so I don't know anything about that. Um, but again, I mean, I love areas of Australia. I did Australia before I actually went overseas. Okay. So I've been in all parts of Australia. I'm lying, except I haven't been 
really to Perth. I went to Broome, but I haven't been below Perth and down that area. Yeah. I have apparently, it's apparently that is beautiful yeah, the place to area. Go. Yeah. So, but uh, I mean, yeah. Australia. I mean, we have what twenty two million people now. It's such a huge continent, and you can all. I like to be alone sometimes. You know? Yeah. So. I love the fact you can sit on a beach on the north coast here of Sydney or south coast, coast and no one's there. Yeah. You know, the only person there. I mean, it's so special. And, I agree. You know, it's so clean and you know pristine, beautiful. Yeah. I, Getting I out just, of the city as well, where you can have time to yourself. Yeah, and we yeah. need to recharge. Yeah. Choices are a great thing in life. Exactly. Choices, exactly. very important. So let's play a little game. All right, what's the game? Five, I'll ask you five things. Yeah, okay. And you give me one good thing and one bad thing about each. Oh, okay. Easy. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy. Australian media. <laughs> <laughs> well, I know a lot of those guys out there and they've been very kind to me. I don't know what negative, I guess, look, a journalist, a journalist, that you, 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 what do you say? They are very can be very intrusive. But I'm not that interesting, so they don't intrude upon me very much. Okay. But, yeah. Well, that can lead to the next question. Oh, which okay. Fame. Fame. Well, um, I was raised in a family that were always involved in business, and also on the genetic side, the true mm -hmm. side of them, they're all being very generous, giving, happy, kind people. Yeah. So there is that side of me that I've, all, I've seen, you know, emulated my family and seeing that and, and it's part of me I, I love to deal with people yeah. I love people yeah. and I think you can I've been like I'm, I've seen it yeah. so I know no I know and I'm and I'm very humbled by yeah people and what they <laughs> say and I'm glad we all make a difference on this planet yeah. um, there are times when you're not feeling so great like I have been that you maybe you just want to be left alone you know and mm. you just uh you know, you've got to pull back sometimes. But then I just, you go away somewhere, which I'm doing at exactly. Christmas, I'm going Good. away. Yes, you are. Yeah. Oprah Winfrey. Oh, God. Every night in my prayers of late, I've been putting <laughs> out, I'm going, Oprah, Oprah, um, hopefully you watch Channel 10, you see Ready, Steady, Cook, and they can get me a job on your channel, on, <laughs> on the O Network. And I met someone Wouldn't in that be nice? I'm New, coming with New you, York recently. I <laughs> uh, knew you in LA, who said, Actually, I work, I do production on the iNetwork and maybe you should send something along. I was like, oh, okay. But I'm being a bit, uh, maybe next yeah. year I'll get my act together. And, but she's out here in Australia and exactly. an amazing, how great is she? Amazing inspiration and so loved by so many people. And yeah. I don't know if she started, I think it was in Cincinnati that she started. Yeah. I don't know if that woman realized, I don't, couldn't have possibly realized what impact she was going to make on this planet. Yeah. And it's a huge one. And it's huge, you know. And she's got a, she appears to have a blessed life through it. Yeah. And I hope she does, you know. She and she's constantly in the spotlight, and um, and is an amazing giver. And I mean, the Australian government should be blessed. I mean, her being here in Australia and what her commentary has been about Australia and how she's been so positive. Mm. That I mean, we'll be inundated with tourists, surely. Yeah. Won't exactly. We? Oh, no, I, Apparently, I, we're going to be turning over a lot of money from it. So yeah, I adore her. I I yeah, think she's, she's great. wonderful. So on the opposite end, oh, Kyle Sanderlands. Well, you know what, Kyle. Not necessarily opposite end. But let me let me just say that. Oh, what is that? What do you mean opposite? Yeah. <laughs> He's giving and kind. Well, he he he's brut brutally kind and he is, giving yeah. in his own way, and um, he said something. He said something nice about me, which is good, on the radio not so long ago, <laughs> to gorgeous Miss Jackie. And she had, she had the baby <gasps> yesterday, a little girl. Oh, happy we're gonna, baby Jack. <laughs> happy baby Jack. Oh my God, how um, beautiful. I don't know what its name is yet. Oh my checked. gosh. Good on her. Her name is, yeah. <laughs> It'll be in a love home, a love, very loved home then. Yeah. And again with Kyle, I mean, he's had a really tough life, so, uh, you know, but... He's done well for himself. Oh my God, he should be so proud. Yeah, yeah. But um, I'm sure he gives back in his ways pain. without having to tell everybody. To maybe to tell everyone. Yeah. yeah. Do you know I met An um, Andrew O'Keefe recently from Channel okay. Seven Deal I Know Deal, yeah. who I was really impressed by. I've heard a lot of negative 
press about Andrew. And I saw him at a function speaking at um, the White Ribbon Day for the Abuse Against Women. And I went up to him after and I said, you know, you, you spoke from the heart and you were so passionate. And it's isn't it a shame that the people, media and people at home don't see this other side of you and maybe a lot of other celebrities, you know, that, uh, or people at least in the spotlight. Hmm. And I was really impressed by him yeah. and the way he handled himself. And, and I mean, I said to someone, he's such an intelligent man. And they said, well, yes, Pete, he is a... Well, does intelligence go with academia? I don't know. He's a, he's a QC in real life, oh, really? apparently. Wow. And his dad, apparently, some very prominent, well, I think he may have passed on, but his dad was the head of something, big, some legal institution or something. But, sorry, I'm not familiar. No, I can't remember what that okay. was. But again, people like that, you know, and you see them and they're, and they're doing. Last one. All right, sorry. No, that's okay. Last one. What's her name? Our Prime Minister, Julia Gillard. Julia Gillard. Well, I'm glad <laughs> to see... I won't blame for a sec. Yeah. And I know how um, you love your politics. Uh, You're very passionate about it. I am it. very passionate about it. I'm passionate about the doing. It just worries me that people aren't out there doing, they're not aware of actually what's going on, these politicians. Yeah. I know how passionate you are about the, uh, the bike lanes around Sydney. But oh, should we skip well, that one? We'll yeah. We'll to Julia. I just think, <laughs> you know, that's a lot of money that could have been spent somewhere else. Yeah. I don't see anyone on those bike lanes, and they don't go anywhere. They <laughs> have a spurt, and then they stop. Um, to know, I'm like, I, you know, <laughs> when I had, to, I went to um, Prince of Wales Hospital. Great, hello everyone. Um, when I had a heart, you know, thing going on, and the monitor kept breaking all the time. Then I went to another room, and they, they said, "Oh, that's broke." I said, "But just get a new one." They said, "Oh, Pete, there's no funding. There's no money." To buy all this equipment. Yeah. Why? You know, why? Why aren't we looking after our doctors and our nurses? And more importantly, it's inevitably our own health in turn. We're all going to be using these facilities. Exactly. And these people that are experts in their field, we need to look after them. I mean, you know, it's just outrageous. And I just think that that's money, that's where this Maybe the bike money could have gone, I, d I don't know. And even looking at, you know, oh, don't get me started, you know, that whole thing. Look, I have nothing against, against Julia Gillard, I don't know her, but it really upset me when, I th was she not the, the minister looking after the funding for the schools, or the building of the schools? Yeah. And still this goes on where they're saying a school in Stanmore, they had to build a small area which cost, you know, 5.6 million. Somewhat, they, they did an assessment of it. They said, oh, about four or five hundred they would build it for. Where did the other five and a half million exactly go? Exactly right. Where did that money go? And why is no one accountable for that? You know, that's just outrageous. And we've seen a lot of sheep here in Australia, you know, and we need more shepherds, really. Mm. We need people who take responsibility. Don't let people, you know, brainwash you, blindfold you and going, we've given you an extra 5,000 for that child, shut up, get on with your life, yeah, that will leave us exactly. alone, leave us exactly. alone and we'll do our parliamentary job and don't question anything. Mm -hmm. I just think these things that are deterrent, we need to take responsibility, each and every one of us. If you want the child, you know, then I'm sure, like we can all look after it. It's just, Anyway, look, I just get very angry. I, well, we'll skip that one then. <laughs> about all that. <laughs> Maybe we'll go and have a herbal tea. <laughs> or another wine. Another wine. Another wine. Well, Peter Everett, thank Merry you very much. Christmas. Merry, Merry Christmas. Christmas. And we'll see you in the new year. Hopefully, um, somewhere. Hopefully, with all somewhere. our sponsors. <laughs> oh, thanks to all the sponsors for looking after me during these years too. And thank you for five years of absolute oh. pleasure on Channel Ten. Thank you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. say thank you Cadbury's chocolates for these delicious chocolates. I feel like a chocolate right now. Have a Cadbury's. <laughs> Actually they are my favourites. Rocky Road the and crunchies. crunchies. Talk about a variety.